Have you ever wondered what areas of psychology there are? In this video, I'm describing the major areas of psychology and what they study. Hi, I'm Brad Govin, and I'm a doctoral student in psychology. If you want to see more videos explaining psychological concepts, click the subscribe button below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. The first area of psychology is clinical psychology. This is the psychology that is currently dominating the field of psychology. They work in hospitals or independent practitioners using therapy or counseling for multiple different things, mental disorders, emotions, behavior disorders. This is the department of psychology that most people think of when they think of a psychologist. They think of that shrink in this context. To work in clinical psychology, you need a PhD or a PsyD, which is a doctorate in psychology, um, from an APA accredited school. And that is key to getting into uh, good positions or being accepted into a lot of different uh, positions or clinical areas. Next is developmental psychology. They study things like identity and the rules across time, like how do people feel when they're a parent versus when they're elder. Um, they more or less look at developmental issues at any given point in life. To work, you need a master's in psychology. Um, in most places, they want you to have a PhD though. A key fact is that, that most people that I went to school with wanted to be in developmental psychology. Um, however, as popular of an area as this is, not a lot of people end up in developmental psychology. It's really a kind of a tight knit niche that psychologists want to get into. But it is where you have your child psychologists, your play therapists, all of that kind of aligns with developmental psychology. Next, we have social psychology. This, is, this area studies the individual and its relation to the group, as well as the group's relation to the individual. They study things like attraction and aggression. They look at self-justification and Social psychology also happens to be the area that most people want information from psychology from. I'll be honest with you, this is my favorite area of psychology. It's incredibly interesting and incredibly useful. You can go anywhere and use social psychology. Next, we have industrial or organizational psychology. This studies people in their work environments. They look at job placement and human resource studies. You generally need a master's degree to work in this area, but you usually end up working in HR. There's a lot of training and development programs that they like industrial or organizational psychologists to get in. This is very, very valuable for businesses. Businesses are starting to see the value in this information, and they're starting to hire more and more psychologists to be part of these areas for them. These kind of psychologists study things like efficiency and how to help people work toward more meaningful careers. Next is forensic psychology. Now, this has been popularized by movies and television. This isn't to be confused with, with abnormal psychology, which studies mental conditions, but instead studies how a person gets to a place where a particular crime is justified. Next is experimental psychology. This is where the research takes place. This is what most psychologists end up doing in a university performing psychological tests and writing articles. This is the area that really performs all the psychological uh, testing that you end up hearing about in some study from some university. Uh, the next area I want to talk about is neuropsychology. They study the biological effects on the brain. To work in this area, you really want a PhD, or at least you want people who are doctors figuring this one out, because it deals with a lot of the biological uh, foundations of psychology. One thing that's really helpful is, is either a double major or a minor at least in biology so you can help understand the chemical processes of the brain. 
This is the most sciencey area of psychology. I would say it's much more grounded in lab results and finding out the, hey, does independent variable A affect dependent variable and how so? Another area is applied psychology, and this really is the catch-all because it brings in all the other areas and it asks, how do you apply this? They generally look at things like character traits and attributes. They work in different areas such as sports or health psychology, which focus on physical activity, diet and nutrition, and how it affects our behavior. This applied psychology is really where psychology is branching out and looking into new areas. Uh, the school systems in in developing programs that help people learn and know more about their mental states. Uh, so if you haven't picked up on it, I find psychology incredibly interesting, but it does not have uh, products that it, it comes out of it, and therefore it's not a career. Um, I say that some things like therapy, counseling, clinical psychology, they all are careers that you can get into, but psychology in and of itself and the information that comes out of it is not something that's kind of career worthy. Psychology becomes more of a really expensive hobby rather than a job. I would recommend that anyone who's interested in psychology Take the time to learn it through YouTube or the books or any of the information that's out there. A lot of psychology has low paying jobs. There's a high prestige to psychology right now, but there's not a lot of money. So don't go into psychology if you intend to make lots of money or you think it's going to be a get rich quick. The money's just not there. So what areas of psychology are you most interested in? Let me know in the comments below and I'll start gathering material to provide you with more information to help you in your life. Since I got about five more minutes on this recording and I'm done with my script, I kind of want to throw out there like, I think my room's getting a little bit nicer. Obviously, I got a much better microphone. Um, I'll be honest with you, I recorded this once with the shotgun mic and I thought it was pretty terrible. First off, I had scripted everything, which made it really difficult to talk because I was trying to follow the script. And that ultimately made it sound very forced. So I've gotten a much better microphone. Um, obviously my setup, my ambiance is a little bit better, I think. But again, I'm trying to build this. So if there's something here that just looks terrible or you guys think is dumb, like the fact that I've got a piece of paper sitting out, like just let me know. Um, if you guys could comment below on anything that I'm not doing right, that would be helpful.